Gunshots reported. All units respond. Code 99 emergency. What's going on guys and welcome to another tutorial for Alice PDFR. In this tutorial we're going to be showing you how to install and begin to use AlML or Lenny's Mod Loader. This is a tool that can help you install texture vehicles, texture packs, things like that instead of using OpenIV. The tool is really simple to use and install and I'm going to show you that today. Okay, so first of all you want to head over to the lcpdfr.com website. This is just the home page right here. And then from here, you'll see a tab called LML. Just go ahead and click that. Now, this is the LML page. This is where you can access all the information about LML, including frequently asked questions, the wiki and the downloads. Now, on my screen here, I've got an access key. Don't worry about that. That's just for testers only. That won't be there on your version. But all the other information will be there and can help you start using LML. But first off, let's get to installing the tool. So go ahead and click public beta right in the middle. This will take you to the downloads page for Lenny's mod loader. So scroll down here on the right hand side, download this file. Okay, you want to go ahead and click that. It's going to go ahead and download into our browser. And when it's done that, you can see it pop up here. Okay, so it just opens up into a little zip. So just open that up and close that down. So next, we want to go to our GTA 5 root directory. Now, I've got both roots open here. I've got the Epic Games root, which will just be in the GTA 5 folder. Now, your Epic Games folder might be somewhere else. Mine's just in a separate hard drive. Yours will probably be under program files in your main hard drive. And then I've also got my Steam one here, again, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, GTA 5. Okay, so these are my two things. You can actually see I've actually got LML installed on this one, so we won't use that one. We'll do it on a fresh GTA 5. I've got Alice PDFR installed here as well, you can see. So we're just going to pop it into there. So there's two folders here. Okay, first of all, we're going to open up the mod loader folder. Now, all of these files, including the folder, need to go into the root directory of GTA 5. So I'm just going to shift click all of them. You don't have to put in that file at the bottom. That's just to um, that's just to remind people where it goes. We're just going to drag it drop into there. There you go. LML, the tool is now installed into the directory. So now we're going to go back and we're going to use the mod. We're going to look into the mod manager folder. Now this mod manager folder is the UI that Alamal uses so you can manage your tools. We'll open it up in a second. This folder can go anywhere. Okay, You can put it on your desktop. For me, I like everything to be together, so I'm just going to put it into my root. And there it is. As I said, this can be anywhere. It could be anywhere you want. Okay, so Alamal is now fully installed, so we can go ahead and close that. Now to actually look at Alamal, you need to in, you need to open up the UI exe. So that's in the mod manager folder, and you can see right here mod manager UI. Again, you can create a shortcut. You can put this anywhere you want. If you want it on your desktop, if you want it in the directory itself, it doesn't matter. So open this up, and you can see now we're in the UI for Lenny's mod loader. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So this is now the home tab for Lenny's mod loader. I'm going to click this button at the very top left. And that's just going to give me some more description about each of the tabs, okay, which will help hopefully understand what's going on. So I'm going to give you a quick tour on LML. So first off, we've got the home page here. It has links to the installation guides and the support forums and the wiki and things like that. Uh, gives you some uh, information about each bit. Okay, the next bit we're going to go down is going to mods. Now, you can actually see here it's already detected a directory for GTA 5. Now, personally, I've got two directories for GTA 5, as I showed you. I've got the Steam directory, and I've got my Epic Games directory. It's automatically detected my Steam one. So we can go ahead and change that. You can see here I've got the vehicles installed from when I did episode one of the mod showcase. So to go ahead and change that, you want to go into settings. 
you can see see here it's gone steam steam apps common okay so that's my steam directory there but i want to change it to my epic games now it's worth noting if you only have uh one directory it will probably detect that one if you have troubles detecting you can just click on this button on the right hand side in the corner and it will go uh into wherever you want now it's actually already detected my gta 5 folder in epic games if not you want to just go to wherever your epic games folder is and you'll see it opens up like this you want to go into gta 5 now just click that folder okay that's all you need to click you don't need to click alamal you don't need to click mod manager you can just click the root folder okay select folder and that will go like that here there we have the save changes button you want to go ahead and click that okay and now if we go into mods you can see it's empty because we've just installed LML. So now I'm going to go through the mods view tab. Okay, so the mods view is where you can see the mods you have installed. You can enable and disable them and you can save and refresh and make changes on here. When I start to install a couple of mods, you'll see them crop up here, but we'll do that in a second. So for the time being, we'll move on to the next one. Now this here is the downloads tab. In this tab, you can see what mods have been downloaded in the current session now at the moment i actually haven't downloaded any mods so it's blank and you can see here we've got the add downloaded file now this button allows you to add already downloaded files if they were downloaded manually for example if you were to download any mod using a browser and it wasn't automatically installed by lml you can use this button to select where the directory is and install the mod using lml use the add folder and you can go into wherever it's located okay it will be somewhere and you just click the folder and it will click select folder and it will automatically come in here okay again future videos will be coming up that will show you how to uh, change replacement and add-on files and things like that and they'll explain things like that in more detail but for the time being if you want to install a mod that you downloaded externally you can use this add download file button to do so click add locate in here select folder and it will go into there okay next tab we're going to go into it's the settings tab again this is where you can change your folder and also you can change um, the look and the theme I'm going to keep mine as blue dark again click save it takes you back now the bottom left here you've got game not running and you've got the about the about page is just a special thanks to all those who contributed in the community towards LML and the game is not running okay so when we load up the game ladies mod loader will detect the game is running okay you can actually do a thing called hot loading which is where whilst the game is running you can actually add a mod directly into it without having to restart the game that will come in a separate video but I'm just telling you about that at the moment so let's go ahead and install some mods now I've actually got two mods ready to install so let's take a look at some of them okay so this one here is by central designs and you can see on the right hand side by where it says download this file it's actually light green underneath where it says download with mod manager okay it's light green now what light green means is it means that the website and LML are trying to guess whether or not it can be supported and downloaded through LML okay a lot of mods will have this because it's very predictable how the mods are laid out within the files okay which is a good thing um, you can actually see here it says 5m ready this particular uh, mod again a lot of the 5m ready mods are quite predictable and the same so most of them will be light green okay let's take a look at another one I've got over here the Dodge Charger you can see this one here is actually dark green okay and what dark green means is either the mod author or someone part of the community has uploaded a xml file i'll go into those in a second an xml file um, into this so that alamal can immediately recognize it and it's guaranteed to work so dark green means it's officially supported and light green means alamal thinks it's going to be supported okay so anyway let's start off with the dark green one so what we're going to do is we're going to click download now 
it's going to start downloading in three seconds as you can see here two one and it's not actually going to download straight into our browser you can see it hasn't actually popped up what it's actually doing is it's downloading into Lenny's mod load so I've gone into the downloads tab here you can actually see there the 2018 Dodge Charger okay now this window has now come up I'm just gonna explain this quickly for mods that have ELS and maybe some other um, compartments to it and stuff then it will come up with this all this is doing is Alan Mal is asking me permission just to copy and to move some certain files around just click yes okay uh, there you go it's gonna replace some that's because I've actually installed this one before um, but don't worry about all that to so just click replace and that's completely fine okay and there you go the status now says it's installed okay so I'm just going to go through some of the icons here. So this icon here says open the download website. This will take you back to the download website. The download folder, that's where it got downloaded to. The extraction folder, that's where it's been placed. And then stop download. So when it's partially downloaded, you can click that to stop the download. OK, so now let's head into the mods view tab. You can actually see now there's the mod it says it's enabled and it even gives us the download sorry the folder name where it is to get to that folder there's a little icon that crops up here it says open folder you can click that straight away it takes us straight to where the files are which is just under alamal you can see there so alamal downloader and there it is okay and there's all the files but it does that for us by clicking that button there this button here opens install.xml OK, this is so Alamal knows how to install the mod into the game, whether that be uh, the file pass. You can see the file pass for the different things there or the configs and things like that. OK, and any additional bits. Now, this has been officially done. As I said, the mod was officially supported, so we don't need to worry about any of that. That is now installed and ready to go. Now. Just for concept and just to help you guys, I'm now going to install uh, a mod that is light green. OK, so you can see there, light green convert. So what that is, as I said, is uh, Alamal thinks it can upload it. So it's going to give it a go. Again, we click download. Downloads in three, two, one. And then Alamal will then begin downloading that. If you go into downloads, you can actually see it there and it's downloading. OK. So it's doing it all for us, doesn't download into the browser, downloads straight into LML. OK, wait for my nice slow Internet to finish that up. So again, if I wanted to stop the download, I can click the stop download. You can see where it's going and all that sort of stuff. Great stuff. So there we go. And now it's extracted it and now it's installed. And you can see there it says automatically converted. Again, that means that it's automatically created that XML file that talks between LML and the game on how the mod's going to load up. So it's done that all automatically, OK? And if we go into the mod section, you can see there, there it is, 2015 Charger. Now, another thing uh, to bear in mind is if you actually double click on a mod, it brings up another tab. OK, and what this is, is this tells you more information about that mod. So you can see there it tells you the version, the author, the top. It also gives us some more information about what files are included. So, for example, you can see the ELS vehicle files in there. Um, if you double click it, sorry, if you click on that, uh, you can actually see particularly what file it's talking about. You can see car variations dot meta. Visual settings. So this is, as it says, description, install a custom visual settings dot dat for brighter emergency lights. If you want that, you can click the enable button and it will do it all for you. That's now installed for you. If you don't want it, you unclick it. So I'm going to just leave it unclicked for the time being. OK, and again, any additional files. This is where all the you can see their police force. So that's the vehicle um, that this is going to be using. It's police for. OK, again, close that off. If we double click on this, because it hasn't been officially supported, it's just going to have them all here. So you can actually see here that the file is CHGRR. That's the vehicle name and that it's in the stream folder. OK, so let's close that down and now let's load up the game. OK, so before loading up the games, I'm going to be loading it up through Epic Games. Um, 
for Epic Games, there's currently a little bit of an issue where if LML UI is running, Epic Games thinks the game's running. So the best way to uh, overcome that is to close LML. But first off, I'm actually going to load up the Epic Games launcher. Just minimize that whilst it loads up. Um, and in a sec, we'll close down the LML UI. LML does not need to be running whilst the game is running for the mods to load, okay? Because LML is only a user interface and mod manager. It just manages what mods there are, shows you, and you can move them around and things like that. This should be loaded up. Now we go into library. You can actually see there, it says the game is running. Now we know it's not. So the way to overcome that is just to close off the Lenny's mod loader user interface. Okay, we'll give it a second and it should update to say that there we go. So now it knows that the game is definitely not running. It wasn't before, but it's just a little bit of a bug and that is being fixed as we speak. Um, so in the future, it should just come up with launch. Um, I'm going to launch it through the Rockstar Games launcher. And then whilst the game's loading up, I'm actually going to launch Rage plugin hook so I can play Alice PDFR at the same time. So we're going to go into GTA 5. We're going to click play on Epic. And then I'm going to go into my GTA 5 folder, click yes on the admin panel. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to launch up Rage plugin hook. So we'll wait for that to load up. So here we go, game's now loading up. And in a second we should see the Rage plugin hook in the corner as well. There we go. So now it's loading up into Alice PDFR. So Alamal is no longer open. Um, that's just a little issue with Epic Games. As I said, that's being fixed as we speak. Hopefully by the time this video is put up, it won't be an issue. But that's how you get around it if that issue does occur. Whilst this loads up, I'm just going to say Alamal is made by the creator of Alice PDFR. Okay, so we're working to integrate it really nicely and smoothly. It helps you not have to worry about file directories, file locations when you're uploading using something maybe with OpenIV. And for the time being, it's actually working really well. Future videos are going to be uploaded on how you edit XML files, how you upload your own XML file, how you install mods that might be uh, grey. Okay. Grey means that you can still download the mod with LML. However, the chance of the tool automatically converting it and installing it into the game successfully is a lot less due to it not being officially supported. Okay, guys, sorry for the little cut. Um, we're now going to load up the mods. So I'm going to click F4, and that's going to take me into the Rage console. I'm going to type in Spawn, and now Police 4, it's come up for me, um, is what one of the charges used. I think it was the 2018 one. So if we click that, and there we go. You can see there, that is in there. Looking very nice. Now the other one was called CHGRR. Okay, and let's spawn that in. And you can see there, this one's now spawned in as well. Okay, so that there, guys, is how you install mods for cars and textures instead of using OpenIV, using Lenny's Mod Loader. As I said, more videos will be coming soon in relation to how to change XMLs and things like that. Appreciate your feedback, any questions put down in the comments below. But for the time being, this is going to be all. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye. Code 4, all units return to patrol.